so in today's video i wanted to chat with you guys things that i wish i knew before going to grad school and i made a video like this years ago about things i wish i knew about college and even that being said i prepared a lot going into my undergrad and there were so many videos and plethora of information and content about things to expect about college so even though there were still things i wish i knew i still felt pretty prepared and in grad school i felt like i didn't know anything i feel like i went into it completely blind and i wish i knew these things before going into it because i think i would have had a way easier transition and i thought i would have an easy transition already just because I already was attending the University of Arizona. I had a set up group of friends who I was already with and I was already a part of the College of Education, just familiar with everything. So I was like, it's, nothing's gonna be different, but boy, were a lot of things different. So that's why I wanted to sit with you guys and chat about things I wish I knew and maybe things that you would want to know before going into your grad program. And I'm wearing the shirt that says college grad that my mom got me and I thought it was fitting. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so the number one thing I wish I knew is that imposter syndrome is common. This was like the first time I really experienced it a lot at the beginning of my grad school program. I felt like I was so out of place. I felt like I didn't know anything. And it wasn't until I started talking to other classmates that they were feeling the exact same way and being in grad school, imposter syndrome is so, so common. And I think if I knew that, I probably would have not cared so much about me feeling like I'm out of place and I don't belong. So that is definitely the number one thing I wish I knew and that I, I would even get it because I did not think I'd ever have that. I'm like, hey, I just graduated going into my grad program i'm good blah, blah blah but no especially in my position with like me being the only person not having professionally taught and also being like the youngest in my classes it was heavily prevalent okay the next thing i wish i knew was that grad school is heavily research-based or is mainly research-based which again i had no idea about when i had always wanted to get my master's degree forever like since I was I can't even remember how long ago I've always had an idea that I want to get my master's degree like before I even came to college I was like I want my master's degree one year out of getting my bachelor's degree before starting my career and as a first generation college student I didn't know anything about it I just thought it was a continuation of classes and I was like oh yeah I'll just take some more classes like I've already been doing those have been really great and helpful so I would like to take more and get my master's degree no it is so different I had no idea about it being focused on research and maybe this is just a common known thing and I just had no idea but a lot of your classes are about research and a lot of your assignments are research and that was not my experience in undergrad so that was something that i wish i knew that it was not like undergrad and similarly to that is that the workload is a lot more than undergrad and again i wish i knew this but for some reason in my mind i was just like it's a continuation of everything i've been doing so it's just more classes and it is so much more and that's why when i first went into talking to my advisors about me taking all these classes like i took the same amount of classes that i've taken in my undergrad and i always took like 30 to 33 credit hours and when i wanted to do that in my grad program I got like a lot of pushback because it's a lot more work. I didn't know that. I was like, what do you mean? Like, how much more work is it? Like, I feel like I didn't spend a lot of time on homework in my undergrad. So that's why I was like, okay, even if it's a little bit more, I think I could handle it, which obviously I was able to because I graduated, but it didn't come easy, which I did think, which was a very naive, ignorant thought, but I thought it was going to be pretty easy and not be so difficult but the workload was so much more than i was expecting and it really did feel like one class was like two or three classes of work in undergrad i never spent as much time as i spent on homework than i have in grad school for one class so like every single day i was reading and writing and it was just a lot more writing papers 
instead of having one large final paper, you're like having those throughout the semester and just so much reading and projects and it's just a lot and that I was not expecting and I really wish I knew that because I just ha I had no clue. I had no one to chat with about how that would be like. And I did have an older sister who went through her master's program, but it was like a credentialed teaching program. So it was a lot more similar to my experience while I was student teaching. So it was a little bit different. Okay, next thing is what I wish I did because it did help as the year went on. But my biggest advice is get to know your classmates. And this was always my advice for people in college, even in undergrad, but in grad school, so important as well. I feel like I was a little bit resistant to this in the beginning just because it was harder for me to relate to a lot of people because they were a lot older like a lot of my classmates had kids who were my age and so it was just like a lot harder to relate but once I got over that barrier it was so helpful because like I mentioned that this is such an important thing but like even in this time getting to know your classmates is huge because it makes you feel not as alone and I felt like in the beginning of my program in my first semester it was so hard because I couldn't communicate how I was feeling with anyone and normally like you know when you're stressed about an assignment or you feel like a professor didn't give clear instructions on anything you know you have your classmates to talk to about that and be like oh my gosh like is it just me or did we not get any info for example and they're like oh my gosh yes I'm so confused like just that that is just such a comforting feeling to have other people like feel what you're going through and you're not alone and I feel like just not feeling alone is huge and so by getting to know my classmates and us being able to vent to each other about certain things or also feel the same feelings of like similarly to the imposter syndrome like I have no idea what I'm doing like I'm just so stressed about this or our professor is not giving us clear instructions about this like that was huge so it did take me a lot longer to get to know classmates than I did in undergrad especially because in undergrad like you I had my built-in sorority so anyone in my classes who had our sorority letters on it you just sat next to each other and that was a built-in friend but in this scenario it took a lot bit more work but it was ultimately very helpful once I did get to know people but it wasn't it did not come easy but that was it's such a huge advice okay next is that there is no more hand-holding so Keep in constant contact with your advisors and ask lots of questions. And that is a huge difference from my undergrad to grad program. I felt like in my undergrad, there was a lot of handholding and taking us step by step by step with everything we needed to do and everything we needed to take. And it was very, very helpful to have someone be a part of that throughout my four years. But in grad school, I felt like I was just on my own. And I felt like even like the couple weeks before starting classes, like I was still so confused on like, I haven't gotten reached out about what classes I should take. I haven't gotten any information about anything. And this was like, like for months before going into my grad program, I was so confused because I was not used to that. So it was a lot of me reaching out. Like I had to figure out, I was like, so who's my advisor? Like school's about to start and I have not talked to anyone. I haven't signed up for my classes. Just like a couple weeks before I started. And I was just so lost. So this, I feel like at, in grad school, especially you're completely on your own. And it's very important for you to reach out to your advisor and ask tons of questions because I felt like I was in constant back and forth communication because it, especially since we didn't meet in person, um, all of it was through email or whole communication. So we had a constant back and forth dialogue about me, like the classes I wanted to take and making sure like, okay, if I take these classes, will I graduate in a year? And then just having that back and forth and just making sure your plan is solid. So you definitely want to make sure you're in constant contact with your advisors and asking lots of questions because they're not going to reach out to you. At least in my experience, you're really going to have to do a lot of the work. Okay, so next thing I wish I knew is that since grad school is very research based, you want to have at least a general interest of or an idea of what you want to study because in grad school it is very normal to have like all of your classes and research all connect they actually really encourage that 
So if you have an assignment that you started on one class, they encourage you to build off of that and do more assignments because overall it's going to help you in your research. So I kind of like figured this out during my first semester. If you already have an idea, start thinking about what is something that you're really passionate about and interested in. For example, something that I came into that I ended up loving to research was just like community building, peer relationships, and teacher-student relationships. All of that was something that I try to focus on in all my classes if I was able to. So for final research papers and projects, if I was able to relate that class somehow to that topic in some way, I did it and it ended up being very, very helpful to me because it's something that I am really passionate about and able to take what I've learned and researched into my classroom and into my career. So that was helpful in being able to build off of what I already knew. Instead of like for one class you do one um, topic and another class all these topics, in grad school being able to build everything off of one another, I became very knowledgeable about this one specific topic and that was very very helpful so just knowing that would have been nice too i'm glad I, it ended up working out but if i were to do different things it would have been really difficult so i would just keep that in mind is to go into it with some sort of interest even in some classes teachers would ask like everyone what their interest is when people already had ideas or a lot of people go into grad school with an idea from their experience in their profession and so a lot of my classmates had already ideas of what they were interested in and wanted to focus on in grad school. But in my experience, I didn't because I just came right out of my bachelor's degree. So yeah, just keep that in mind. And it's definitely something I wish I knew. And lastly is I wish I knew that everything truly is at your own pace. Like it really is not like undergrad where for the most part, everyone is on like the same track of trying to finish in four years. There is of course some flexibility, but overall the norm I feel like in undergrad is like you're trying to graduate in four years and in your grad programs, it's completely at your own pace. So they tell you the norm is like two years, but someone could like me finish in a year or I had people in my class who were taking like one class every semester or finishing in a year and a half or three years, you know, you can really be at your own pace and I feel like in undergrad that's way less common but in grad school it's way more common to be at your own pace and you truly can formulate your own schedule of when you want to get your program done just depending on your lifestyle and how you're able to do things so yeah that's another thing that I wish I had thought about so yeah these are all the things so far that I've come up with of things I wish I knew about grad school I started to write these things down throughout my year because I knew I wanted to make this video and if there are other things you guys wish you guys knew, comment down below to help people out. These are just the things I thought of. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked this video and it was helpful to you. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.